Hi and welcome to another one of our videos and this time we're going to go back into Lightroom we're going to do another little bit of, um, of work this time we're going to have a look at the develop module and specifically we're going to look at the transform tools. Transform tools in, in Lightroom have come I think have come a really long way in the last few revisions of, uh, of Lightroom I and mean, um, Lightroom CC is great it constantly updates and, and one thing that I think has has really developed uh, a lot is is the transform module so if you take an image that's that's not quite straight not not straight as in the horizontal and the and the, and the uh, horizon being off but straight as in terms of your verticals are converging or moving away from you um, then the transform tool is absolutely perfect now for um, for fixing those issues so let's not let's not talk too much let's get straight into uh, into Lightroom and, and take a look so to demonstrate this I've got I've got two images here um, this the first image let's let's open up and have a quick look at that one this is the inside of, uh, of Durham Cathedral and um, as you can see straight away the the verticals are, uh, are, are moving in quite quite significantly and uh, and generally um, the, the aspect ratio the, the sort of uh, ratio of the um, the verticals to uh, to the horizontals are, are not there at all so let's get into the develop module and, uh, and take a look at how we can improve this using the transform tools. So into develop, just hit D or hit the develop button up at the top here. And, um, and then let's just come down and here we have on the right hand side, the transform tool. Now, the automatic button first is, is normally a great place to start to be fair. And uh, I would always just click that and see, and see what it does. So let's click that and, and to be fair, you know, when you click it, it's it's not done a bad job. Um, the verticals do look a lot more vertical, um, and uh, yeah, you, you could almost say that that was uh, that was okay. Um, and in many cases, that that would be that would be fine, and, and you just carry on, carry on your editing. But that really wouldn't help you in um, in fixing that yourself. So let's turn that off, and let's show you how to do that yourself and manually because it doesn't always work automatically. Um, we're going to look at with this image because it's a vertical um, problem we've got here we're going to use the vertical transform tool and uh, literally all you have to do is simply grab hold of that slider and move it left or right and uh, if we move it to the left the top of the image looks like it's coming towards us and if we push it to the right the top of the image looks like it's going away from us and actually making that um, that vertical problem worse now what we can do here is really simply we can do it by eye we can just move this slider around until it's kind of looking okay. Now you can see we've got we've got the grid on here as well, and uh, and to be fair, that looks right, roughly about there. Um, and you'll notice straight away that we've started to get this white down the bottom where where Lightroom is making calculations as to as to what needs to be in the image at the top and and, and either adding or removing pixels at the bottom. Um, it literally can't do that because we're working right on the edge of the frame, so it's just left that white. Um, we're not, we don't need to move any of these other um, uh, sliders here, but I'm just going to show you what they do. So horizontal, we'll come onto this one more in, a, in another image. Um, just exactly the same as vertical, but it rolls it to the side, so it pulls the left hand side towards us and pushes the right hand side away. And if we move it the other way, it just swings it around the other way. Um, as always, if you've moved something and you're not too sure exactly where it was, just double click it and it puts it back where, where it was at the start. Rotate doesn't really need too much of an explanation, it just, it just rotates the image and there's other ways to do that using, um, using this crop tool just up the top here, which we'll, we will use in a moment, um, um, but uh, that is just a simple rotate. Aspect, aspect you can get some quite interesting uh, results, uh, pull it to the left and it kind of squats your image down, crushes it down a little bit. And stretch it out to the side, um, push it to the right, and you kind of get a tall, lanky image, um, which uh, kind of accentuates the, the height of the building in this situation. So again, let's just leave that back in the middle. Scale um, literally just pushes it back into the image or, or, or zooms it in. Now, I really can't see why anybody would really want to use that um, when you've got a perfectly good crop tool. So um, let's just leave that uh, as it was in the middle. And an X and Y offset, once again, a couple of tools that I would never really use. Uh, it just moves it to the left or moves it to the right, um, creates white space around the edge of the frame. Um, and the same for Y, um, moves it up and down, creates white space around the edge. Once again, two tools that I probably wouldn't use very much myself. The main tools you're going to be using here 
are the are the vertical and horizontals and and for this vertical uh, image um, where we've got the cathedral um, that vertical uh, adjustment we made there just just makes um, makes it look okay but I would, as you say we, we have got these these white bits around the edge now so we do need to crop this so let's go into the crop tool and uh, and then just uh, just pull those edges in a little bit so that we've got an image that we're comfortable with actually now I don't like the uh, the edge of that little wooden rail so I'm going to push it in maybe a little bit more actually I might change the aspect ratio completely and uh, and crop it to about there um, that looks a little bit more sensible to me um, let's hit enter and look at that image now that image from from what it was a moment ago if we do a before and after um, we can see that um, the before and after we've got these converging verticals on this one and this one's now, now quite in straight um, for those of you that don't know how to do the, the the before and after I just press the Y key and that turns before and after on and off okay so that's that's one image we've looked at let's look at the next image which is um, not far from Durham this is the the um, it's not a great picture neither of these pictures are great I would never use them in any kind of uh, sort of external work or in, in, in club work they're just illustrating a point for us this is the sage center um, in uh, in Gateshead taken from uh, Newcastle and, and the problem with this image is we've got a we've got a, a horizontal that goes sort of diagonally right the way across the image but because of the building itself if we fix that the normal way so let's just head off into uh, develop module if we came to the crop tool and um, and just fix that using a, using a straight rotate to make that make that line correct then what we can see here what we've done is we've made we've made this line wonky now so um, you know the sage building is not on a hill like that although it now looks like it's on a hill because we've straightened uh, this uh, this horizontal there so clearly we've got a problem with this image which is not um, which is nothing to do at all with um, which just a straight rotation to, 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 to solve the problem. So what we need to do is, the issue actually is in um, the, the, the transformation. We've got some converging horizontals in this situation. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna do it manually again. This time we're gonna to go to the horizontal um, slider. And if we push that to the right, let's see what happens first. And that, that right hand side of the image starts to come towards us. And we start to get some open space there on the left. That's clearly going really wrong but if we just push it to the to the left then what we start to get is we start to get that line kind of the right hand side just going away from us a little bit and the left hand side just coming towards us and if we take a nice little look at that we can then start to see that yeah do you know that's that's about right just there um, not a massive adjustment but um, that now looks uh, kind of okay and if we go back to our crop tool up the, up the top and uh, let's just uh, pull that, that in a little bit so that um, there we go that'll be all right keep that a bit of boat in there or whatever it is um, and once again now that looks more natural that looks more kind of square where the um, where the image before absolutely didn't let's go to the ex to the uh, before and after and we can see um, actually you can see I just changed the sky a little bit earlier before we started but because uh, it really was an absolutely atrocious photograph this is one for the delete bin and it will probably never see the light of day again but it does illustrate this point quite well um, previously we had this um, this line coming down here um, whereas uh, whereas it should actually be straight I should have been straight when I took the photograph and uh, we've not really changed too much the way that this, the building itself looks because what we've done is we've just pushed that back end away a little bit from us. So I hope that makes sense to you. And the, the, the transform tool is a really simple tool to use and actually so powerful. Previously, we'd be going into Photoshop, we'd be using um, the transformation tools in Photoshop to try and resolve those image, those image problems. But now Lightroom has got that pretty much right in the box and so quick and easy to do. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a comment below, press the like button and down here in the corner somewhere, there'll be, um, there'll be a button that you can hit subscribe to and that'd be really great if you subscribe to our channel. I um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, until next time, thank you very much.